Hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel and this is your friend Dr Suresh Shenvi if you have gone through a popular video of mine that is the dentin bonding agents which has over 30000 views you will realize that the dentin bonding system comprises of many aspects and the agent is one of it it was rakesh who requested on aspire 32 to make a video on agent and that's why we will be learning everything about agent and its role in the bonding with the enamel in this video and the first obvious question would be why do we have to use the agent if you want to do a bonding and the answer lies with its invention and it was in 1955 when the bonocor he realized that people are using phosphoric acid on the walls before painting it and that has seen to improve the amount of adhesion of the paint with the walls and he got that idea that why not use the same technique in bonding the restorative materials with the two structure and that's how we came to the steps of the etchant application where we first apply the etchant then rinse it for 10 to 15 seconds then apply the bonding agent and cure it and then apply the composite and then we cure it and what is the reason for increased the bond strength when you etch the two structure The first reason which is mentioned in the literature is that when you apply a etchant to the two structure it makes it irregular and leads to increase in surface area and surface area if it increases then the bonding agent will have more surface to bond which increases the bond strength the second reason is that when you etch the tooth surface it is going to form a micro porosities around the enamel prisms and when the adhesive is applied this adhesive is going to penetrate these micro porosities and form two type of extensions the first being the macro tags and the second being the micro tags and these two together give us micro mechanical bonding which is seen in the resin restorations the third reason for increased bonding is its ability to increase the surface energy of the enamel the bonding agent is actually hydrophobic and it has less penetration into the enamel tooth structure so when you etch a tooth structure the surface energy is going to increase drastically the etched enamel shows the surface energy of around 72 dynes per centimeter which is two times more than enamel surface which is not etched and when you have this much amount of high surface energy the bonding agent will be attracted towards the enamel surface because of capillary action which leads to increase in bond strength the fourth reason being the removal of smear layer and as we have discussed in the dentin bonding agent video it is better to remove the smear layer in the enamel and modify it in the dentin if you want to know the reason please do check the last video and the link is in the description Most of the time you will be asked what is the component of the etchant and the answer is very simple that is it is made up of phosphoric acid and generally the concentration ranges from 30 to 40% but most of the textbooks recommend 37% phosphoric acid some of you may also wonder that if a acid increases the bond strength then why not use a higher concentration yes they did try the higher concentration of phosphoric acid but what they found is that when you use more than 50% of phosphoric acid then it is going to produce a precipitate of mono calcium phosphate monohydrate and if you use a lesser concentration than 27% it is going to form dicalcium phosphate which both will in turn prevent the bonding of the dentin bonding agent to the two structure that's why we won't only use a concentration which ranges from 30 to 40% and ideally 37% and then there is a time most of the textbooks recommend a 15 second application time for the etchant and for those who wonder that what will happen if you use for more than 15 seconds then the research has found that the amount of bond strength what you achieve at 15 seconds and the bond strength what you achieve at 60 seconds 
both are same so there is no need to apply for longer duration unless you are doing a etchant application on a deciduous tooth or a tooth which is affected by fluorosis in which you will have to etch for more than 60 second in order to improve the bonding some researchers also mention the application of ethanol after you wash the etchant because the ethanol is going to remove all the water content from the enamel surface and making the hydrophobic dental adhesive penetrate better into the tooth structure now let's learn the effect of etchant on a microscopic level when you apply a etchant to the tooth structure it is going to etch around 10 micrometers of enamel and it can actually produce micro porous layer up to 5 to 50 micron deep into the enamel structure and depending on how the prisms appear after you etch them the pattern is classified into five categories in type 1 pattern you tend to see that the acid is acting more on the cores of the enamel prism rather than the periphery whereas in type 2 you tend to see that it is the margin which is demineralized than the core of the enamel prism whereas in type 3 you will see the mixture of both type 1 and type 2 type of patterns you also have type 4 pattern where the surface appears to be pitted and it is like a unfinished puzzle or map or a network and in type 5 we see the flat smooth surface of the enamel prisms Please note that the demineralized periphery of the enamel prisms lead to formation of macro tags and the demineralized core structure of the enamel prism lead to formation of micro tags. The role of micro tags is more in the bonding because they tend to form more in number and have more surface involvement. The next common question which is asked in the exam is that why do you use etchant more often in gel form than the liquid form? And the answer is very simple when you have a etchant in gel form you can do a precise application and restrict the etchant to the place where you mean to etch if you etch a tooth which you do not intend to bond then this area is going to take more than 2 months to remineralize that's why you should use etchant in gel form to prevent this type of unnecessary demineralizations at the end you should also know that the bond strength what you can achieve in immediately after the etchant application and proper bonding protocol is around 20 mpa and because of this close contact and good bond strength the composite is said to have least micro leakage at the time of initial bonding there is still research going on and many textbook mention the use of malic acid citric acid lasers air abrasion which is found to give you better limited etching of the enamel and the research is still continuing i hope that that explains you the etchant in detail please click the like button subscribe to the channel and write in the comment section if you have any suggestions or request thank you so much for watching aspire 32 i will see you once again with new video